and welcome to this tutorial on applying audio effects in Premiere Pro. Now you'd have thought it would be very simple, you just go to your effects tab and then you look for your audio effects which I've got open here and then you grab one of the effects, let's say it do something interesting like chorus, grab it and drop it on the clip and carry on going. Well yes you can do it that way but sometimes you can have multiple clips that you want to apply an effect to and actually you want the whole channel to be affected by an effect as opposed to having to go through every single little clip and make changes. For instance I have a poem here, The Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll and I want to apply an effect to it, let's say I want to apply the chorus effect so I've applied it and I can go to my effects control and I can open up chorus and I can click on custom setup open that up and I've got a little box that I can move the dials around to do a custom effect on the clip that's all well and good, I'm actually going to delete that from the clip, but what if I've recorded my narration and I've had to cut out lots of errs and ums and I end up with loads and loads of clips or it's quite a long presentation and all my narration is on the one track and really what I want to do is not apply it to the clip but apply it to the whole track. How do I do that? Well, it's simple, it's done in the audio mixer and when you're in the audio mixer you are looking for this little show hide effects and sends twirly or triangle click that and it opens up a panel that you may not have seen before and in here I can apply five effects also below it I've got things called sends which I'm not going to deal with in this tutorial that's for another tutorial and below here is a little box which is going to give me my settings now if I want to apply an effect that's going to affect everything in audio track 1, so the whole of this track regardless of what's in it, I actually apply it through this audio mixer panel. So audio 1 is this channel, not the clip but the whole channel, and I click the little drop down arrow to the right and there are my same effects. So I can click on chorus and it looks like at the moment I've just got my options down the bottom and I can change bits and pieces and I've got a little drop down here and I can go into the individual bits that's very clunky and it doesn't feel a very good way of working there are two things that really help one is you can right click on the word chorus and it gives you a few options at the top which says pre-fader post fader what does that mean pre-fader means that you apply the effect before it goes through this fader down here your volume control fader so it's going to be directly affected by how much your volume fader goes up and down. The ratio to the audio and the effect is going to stay very much the same. However, if you go to post fader, it's going to be applied after you've done any volume editing. So the amount of the effect is going to be pretty constant regardless of how much you turn up or turn down the volume of the actual channel itself. Okay, we've got an edit mode. Now when you click the edit mode, you end up with this box. Another way of getting to that is simply to double click the word chorus and then you've got an edit box which is much better than this clunky drop down here and it's exactly the same as we've seen in how to apply it to a clip and you can actually move the bits and pieces around. Let me just play a little bit of this so you can hear some and I'll change the settings as I go through. All mimsy with the borough groves and the moan rots out grey. Beware. The claws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jupe jupe bird and shout. Just giving you an idea of what it's like. Also, would you notice that you have got a whole series of presets built in here? So I can choose, say, a goblin voice. And if I hit play, you'll hear the difference. Gun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal. And again, I can choose another one. Right click, and I can choose, uh, say, warm. Hit play sword in hand. Long time the Mansone foe he sought. And if you want to turn the effect off for the whole track, you use this little F icon here and that turns the effect off for the whole track, on for the whole track, off for the whole track. So that's how you can apply an effect at a track level and that's how you can apply an effect at a clip level. So you can apply all your audio effects to an individual clip or you can apply the same audio effects to the track. The only one that appears to be missing is volume because on a track you've already got volume in your volume slider here so you don't need the volume effect. So there are the same audio effects for both clips 
and for tracks and that's how you can apply them once they're applied you can play around with them and you can have lots of fun now although this is a great way of applying effects in Premiere Pro it is actually far better to export your clip to Audition or Sound Booth and add your effects in there because the effects are more powerful they're more intuitive you've got more options and you'll end up doing a better job if you edit them in a program that's actually designed to deal with sound specifically however if you don't have the suite and you just have Premiere Pro you'll find that all these effects are here all of them work very well all of them have got very good presets that you can play around with and learn from and of course there's a help manual to give you a basic understanding of what each of those little dials and buttons does so that's how you can apply audio effects in Premiere Pro both on a clip basis and on a track basis I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.